Preston. I've got this one. Why are you standing there getting shot? Oh. Oh, Preston, you are cray cray. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whoa. Right, Preston, Preston. Let's, let's just back off, huh? Let's make him come to us. Come on! Is that the best you've got? No! Preston! Enjoy the view from six feet under. Ah, <sighs> Preston, you madman. What the hell? That didn't work. That was a total waste of a grenade. You know, I should probably heal Preston before I go any further. I'm on it, General. I think I. Hmm. I guess I'm just getting jumpy. <laughs> oh, Preston. Why? Why did you do that? That was so foolish. You madman. Um, I'm peckish from lack of food. Uh, that's going to make me um slightly weaker. Or at least give me fewer hit points to work with. That's never good. Ooh, more fedoras. Quite a collection of junk. No, Preston, don't, don't, don't walk out there. <sighs> Why do I have you around? Ooh, it's a eyeball of <laughs> a minute man. <laughs> no, Trigger Man. My bad. The Minute Man of the guys on our side. Got it. Okay. Need to try and remember that one. Ooh. Okay. Maybe we can uh, take you out from a distance. <laughs> And avoid that whole nonsense with, you know, submachine guns and whatever it else you guys were using. Shouldn't hide. Ain't very courageous, huh? <sighs> uh, man, that was really painful. I'm surprised at. Uh, at how much damage those submachine guns do, I guess. Coward. Knew you didn't have it in yeah, 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 yeah. You're the one who's not coming after me. Um, you guys are supposed to be defending or whatever. Where? How did? What? How did this guy get over here? Was this the grenade just tossing bodies around? Uh, I don't know. Um. Uh, okay. Squirrel bits. Crispy squirrel bits. Okay, so I can actually eat those without poisoning myself. Uh, that's always good. Um, because I am a bit peckish. I'm not sure if I should... Pro probably... Uh, yeah, uh, no, I don't think I'll bother dealing with that just yet. Um, oh, there's another bed. It's another bed. This is awesome. There are beds everywhere in here. I can just save it after every fight. Although, um, what are you gonna do with that? That will probably give me uh, all kinds of uh, illnesses that I will need to need to get rid of. Uh, but it's okay because I have a stack of um, I have a stack of antibiotics. I, 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 I don't know what just happened with my phone there. It did something really weird. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to try to guess. Uh, I think I activated some voice thing accidentally. Ah, okay. What is... Buff mm. out. More sleeping bags. Uh, I don't want to sleep until I've... Ooh. Until I found this guy, that's what I was going to say. How did he not see me? <laughs> oh well. His loss, I guess. Um, let 
me just reload and then I think that's all of them in the vicinity so yeah uh, I will just take a quick nap um, just to be on the safe side it's a, it's a proper bed I probably get by okay by sleeping an hour just auto save okay we're good we're all good okay and now we carry on not a problem Aluminium, beer bottles, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Uh, how do I... Oh, okay, I can get over here. Ugh. How does anybody navigate this place without jumping? You would think that they would build, you know, proper bridges across all the platforms. Hmm. More hats? I do like my hats. Um, yeah, okay. So, you know, I think that, um, you know, I, I, I do hesitate to, to come after Nick Valentine because that's going to trigger a bunch of stuff. Um, if, uh, if I remember correctly about how this works. Um, and, uh, it's, it's, uh, there's no real sort of stopping point after you, um, get Nick Valentine into the mix until ugh, I don't know I don't know I, I suppose I can just just not go back to the agency after I after I rescue him um, and that will put things on hold but no I need to because of Far Harbor and everything um, uh, yeah okay so you know I'll, I'll work that out when I get to it um, yes I'm sure it's going to be fine. I will find a way uh, to avoid having to run through all the way. Ooh, tripwire. All the way to Act 2 or wherever this storyline takes me. Oh, missiles again. I, I cannot carry missiles. That is way too heavy. Um, okay, get that. Empty paint cans aren't useful. Dirty water, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, apparently, um, so you need dirty water to Got craft it. a lot of the uh, combat armor. Hmm, maybe I should take that. I don't know whether I want to upgrade to combat armor. Um, it seems that my uh, my biggest threat <laughs> is Molotov cocktails, which means that I should be stacking up on the energy resist uh, as much as possible. And I think leather armor has better energy resist than combat armor. Um, but I, I don't know if any amount of energy resist is going to be enough, guys, because... <laughs> oh, damn, those things just one-shot me like, like it's nothing. Um... I don't think that uh, that I'm going to be able to survive a single hit from a Molotov cocktail unless Sweet. I have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of energy resist. It's it's gotten to that point. Um, but you know, I I I, uh, I think I am favoring energy resist right now. I probably. We need to, you know, do do some math and work this out. Hang on. I'm going back, aren't I? Yep, okay. This is the wrong way. So I came across here. I went down there. All right, and the other guy was down here. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, so I was saying something and I totally forgot what I was saying. Um, um There's another terminal. Okay. Oh, this is just the same thing. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I think I was talking about, um... Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think I was talking about uh, how uh, uh, when you pick up Nick Valentine, it sort of sets things off in motion and you s end up playing one quest into another and to another until you end up... Ooh, wow, he had a hundred rounds? Oh, damn. This is going to be a very profitable Salisbury steak. Is that a canned? Yeah, that's 
Yeah. <laughs> That's a pre-war cans meal. Can I get this kind of stuff? Sure that's worth taking with it? I, I don't know, Preston. I, I will figure that out later. Um, oh, I just picked something up I probably didn't want. Don't know why. 45 rounds. Okay. They didn't have a hat? This is unacceptable. I need all the hats. Um, but yeah, I, I think I can probably put a halt on that before I wind up in in Act 2 at some point, um, just to sort of give me some breathing room. And uh, I probably don't... Chalk, no. I probably don't have to go that far just to just to get Nick Valentine on my side and, and have him sort of as a go-to point for for any quests that he is associated with and all that extra stuff. Uh, oh, Nuka-Cola Quantum. Hmm. 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 Yeah, so, you know, I was thinking about also ditching Preston, but then I thought, oh, you know, I'm probably really close to getting his, uh... Uh... Ooh. I'm probably really close to getting his uh, his perk, getting maximum affinity with him, so I'll just keep him around a little bit longer. Um, I'd prefer to... Uh... Is there anybody else? So is that guy standing there? What happens to the guy and that guy sleeping there? Oh, there's a couple of them. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. Hold up. Okay. Good night. Ain't very courageous, I know, but it is probably smarter. Do try to fight smart instead of brave, I guess. <laughs> See? All my cowardly actions have allowed me to take out all three of you guys without taking a single shot back in return. Ha ha. Ha ha. Um, I don't. Oh, don't, why did I press that? I was looking for this. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's any more things to be concerned about in here. I think that was all of them, actually. Um, I don't recall any traps or anything. Not here, anyway. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It just ends over here. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, what do we got? Bottle cap, 45 round. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. Let's, let's just take a look around before I, um. Before I push towards that, which is the clear uh, entrance to a vault. Um, okay, so we've got here, I think, uh, yeah, I think this is the way out. I don't think there is, yeah, okay, so that's the exit. Alright, and I don't think that it's trapped or anything, so I don't need to disarm anything in there. Um, oh, where did this other guy go? Uh, I could get a mining helmet. And it does have a cool lamp on it. Yeah, why not? I can always drop it. Um, Wonder glue, yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, you have... Let me tell you all the woes I've had trying to find adhesive. Um, because it, it requires... It's required in everything. Um, everything requires adhesive. So I had to upgrade this combat rifle with all of the... Um, where did this other guy go? I'm sure I... Pretty sure I shot him around. Oh, is this him? Oh, he's all the way over here. What's this doing here? What's what doing where? You're talking about the vault? Oh, don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so to upgrade the combat rifle, pretty much everything required adhesive. To get the deep pockets, it all requires adhesive. Tons and tons of adhesive. Um, I wound up having to um, to run around to to all of my my workbenches that I've ever used, pulling stuff out. Oh, by the way, did you know this? If you use workbenches at uh, Good Neighbor or in um, in Diamond City, and uh, you have to uh, use oh, okay, you have to use an item to uh, to upgrade something, um, and it. It basically scraps it and uses part of the item. Uh, but if if there are other parts of that item, uh, like other materials, say you know screws or adhesive that weren't getting used as as part of your crafting thing, they will go into the workbench, into the workbench. Um, so yeah, th there is a bunch of stuff of mine that was just like in the workbenches in Diamond City, and. Um, and uh, in and in good neighbor, because I had been using them to craft. Hello. Skinny. Skinny. Nyla. Hey. Well. Let's do this. Damn it. He saw me. How did he see me? Have you got this, Preston? Go, Preston. Steady. Oh, he's right there. How have you not killed him already, Preston? You got this enormous laser weapon, and you and you just deal tiny amounts of that. Oh, there's still more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Disappearing act ain't fooling me. I was hoping it would. Maybe I'll just give it more time. Okay, it's full due. So yeah, um if uh if you're using workbenches at Diamond City and in Good Neighbor to build stuff and um and uh, you end up uh, having to scrap some junk items, like say a desk van or something, to use um, the springs or whatever. Then, whoa, dude! It's okay, Preston. I got your back. <laughs> Um, yeah, and you end up using the springs or whatever. Um, then the screws and the steel will go into the workbench, and you have to pull those out otherwise. <laughs> um, yeah, jumpsuit, okay. Okay, I'll take the the jumpsuit, why not? Um, vault tech terminal. Let's see what this guy has first. You should get going. <sighs> Don't rush me, Preston. Don't rush me. Um, what's in here? Welcome employees. After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to the newest addition to the Vault Tech family, Vault 114. Like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavor, but we are not quite ready to open the great big door to our new residence yet. As you've probably noticed, we've contracted outside of vault for construction on this one, since it is utilizing a unique space. By repurposing the former Park Street subway station, we will 
be seeing a decrease in building costs as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly with our with the vault's observational studies, which will be revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of this, we will be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction is fully completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. They also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome, once again, Vault Tech Management. <laughs> Private warning, this memorandum is meant for members of the Vault 114 Science Division only, or those with appropriate clearance levels SL4+, plus. Uh, all, other, all others must exit this terminal immediately and report your infraction to the overseer or a member of Vault Tech Security. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, as mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabiting solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated. To, fur to the future residents, multiple families chosen randomly will live and sleep in single room apartments, dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the, the overseer position from many candidates. Our goal is to find somebody with no supervisory or government experience, and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human resources tell us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. Uh, by taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in the service life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment, or harm to the residents. <laughs> Thank you, World Tech Management. Okay. Nice little experiment they got going there. Oh, I'm hungry and thirsty. This is a good time to use my noodle cup. I'm probably hydrated, but I'm still hungry. Well, damn. Um, crispy squirrel bits. Okay, probably fed. Let's carry on. Uh, so that sounds like a fun experiment, actually. <laughs> I would have liked to have seen the uh, the results of that one. Requires key. Okay, I don't have a key. Um, I wonder if we can uh, get some more information about how that played out in the end. Uh, uh, okay. But yeah, man. Okay, so it, adhesive. I, I had to actually end up... Um, digging around in all the workbenches for adhesive and uh, in the end I just end up stealing some from <laughs> from uh, Hotel Rexford uh, which is uh, also where got it okay it's up to you. which is also where I stole the um, the fusion cores that I took to Vault 81 in the anticipation of having to um, pay to get entry they normally if you don't convince them to let you in uh, through a very hard speech tech they will uh, ask for three fusion cores in exchange for your entry which is normally um, which is normally not a problem because typically fusion cores don't weigh anything so you, you just carry them around with you um, in, in other difficulties but uh, in survival difficulty now they weigh I think something like four pounds each which is um, when was the last time I say eh, whatever <laughs> which is um, which is quite significant um, so you, do, you don't typically carry them around you'd leave them at your settlements which means that uh, which means that uh, so I got a question. Huh? Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of con all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. And uh, this is about the time that my microphone just completely died, guys. Let me just deal with this guy. Uh, yep, okay. Um, so, what happened was that uh, my gaming PC uh, somehow 
uh, cracked it. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but uh, it's the driver for my microphone is just gone. It's, uh, it does not recognize the device anymore, <laughs> uh, but I'm still using the same microphone. It's just uh, on, I'm recording this on my laptop uh, instead after the fact, um, which is a bit of a pain because I still have about, I don't know, an hour or so of game footage um, for which I have pretty much no commentary whatsoever um it's either completely completely distorted or just gone um i don't know what's happened uh it's been sort of clicking and getting staticky for a while you probably noticed um so i'm just gonna have to re-record that over the top of the gameplay footage i don't really want to have to replay uh the game since the last save uh that would just be a pain in the butt for me so um so you're just going to have to deal with me doing post-commentary, I think, for the next couple of episodes. Um, it shouldn't be too painful. I will try to remember what I've actually done. I think at this point I was wondering whether or not I should go back and uh, sleep in a bed. Um, because it had been a while since I saved it and I kind of know what's coming up. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's there's that, and there are guys in there. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna run back to uh, to a mattress or something and save it. Um, in fact, because I'm because I'm tired um, and have uh, insomnia, which means I'm just gonna keep getting more and more tired, uh, much more rapidly. Um, I think what I'm going to do is find like a proper bed to sleep any full eight hours uh, to get rid of the tiredness and uh, and just sort of try to alleviate uh, that whole thing because um, yeah there, there was a sleeping bag over here uh, yes but it's I think that's only uh, gives you the ability to sleep for one hour um, which just isn't gonna be enough um, so yeah, anyways, uh, I have no idea what uh, <laughs> I'm going to say for the next couple of episodes. I'm just going to do my best with the post commentary, um, and uh, and hopefully I can get this driver issue fixed. Otherwise, I just have to record it on my laptop from now. Um, but yeah, this episode is drawing to a close. I think I'm just sort of going to cut it right here, and uh, I will uh, catch you guys in the next episode with more of my thrilling post-commentary.